students, welcome to the session of Remote Sensing NGIS. We are going to discuss today what is Geographical Information System, how it is useful to us in our civil engineering field. So basically, Geographical Information System is a tool which we use to get the desired output for any problem which is related to civil. So, it is a tool which is basically the higher version of the survey, what all basic surveying is being done. So, GIS, the full form, itself says that it is geographical information system, right? The word geographical, which is related to space and space means geographical locations. Right? So, geographical location indicates the latitudes and longitudes. So, here, before starting and going into the detail of GIS, that is Geographical Information System, I would like to say here that Geographical Information System is basically one type of tool. It is a software which is used to plan, manage and solve the day-to-day -day problems which are related to civil engineering. Now, let us move further towards how GIS is being developed, right? So, here you can see that GIS is related to the location-based services and let's see that which was the first example was given by whom that what is actually GIS helps us to locate, right? And if I have the locations, then how GIS would help us to do the scientific planning and organization and analysis, right? So let's move towards this. You can see here that I have shown here one map. Can you see the map? Yes. There are dots and locations and the lines what you can see. So basically, this is the map of cholera in London. It occurred in 1855. So John Snow was the first person who invented and who thought of this geographical location-based service analysis. Now how it is? Look here. You can see the map. The map is shown here. Now, see the maps. There is a red dots and blue dots. Right? So, red dots are the locations of the wells. Means from where water is being supplied. Right? The main locations. Right? And the drainage network is being shown. So, in which pipes, from which area it is passing. Now, the red dots are the people who are suffering from cholera. So now, looking to just the image, see that you can find it out that where is the cluster of people who are affecting more with cholera, right? You can see where the red dots are more, affected patients are more with this disease. And you can make it out that from that connection, this disease is being circulating in cold water and it is making water contaminated with this disease, right? So this is how he invented that if I have some location point, then I could have or I can map the results, right? And I can stop that. So you can see here that where the patients are suffering more, from which main well point location, from which main point where water is being distributed. Right? So, this is how this technology concept have been developed in 1855. Then, the scientists and the engineers are working more and more on this and they have derived that how this system can be implemented in our routine that is in civil engineering field. Now, I would like to say when I say civil engineering field and this technology is relevant, Mark my words, anything can be done by civil engineers and they can develop to a great extent. Just by doing the local action, they can have a global vision out of it. 
understand this statement. This is just on the paper. He pointed out the well locations that from where water is distributed, the drainage network, and he found out that where is the more contaminated water. Now looking to this also, you can see that where is the where contaminated water. So this is how geographical location based surveys have helped us a lot. Moving further, let's see what is the basic coverage of GIS. Right? GIS every time means here geographical information system. Now the word geo, right? Geo means it is related to earth, right? That is known as earth. Geographical geo that is earth. So geo, then you can see here the word geography, right? Shape of earth, study of earth, the things which are related to earth is known as geography. Right? Then you have information, a set of capturing, analyzing, storing, right? That is information what we are gathering to apply in this tool and technique. And lastly, we have the system that is set of various softwares, right? So this is very basic and fundamental which is related to GIS. Now, why this is important student? When I say geo, means it is related to earth. I am doing all the research which is related to earth special. Then I am talking about geography. Yes, because when I do any analysis which is related to earth, I should be knowing that what is the geography of that location. How many or what many or how many layers, how is the type of soil, what is the type of soil, why I am doing analysis towards that location only. Everything should be properly and detailed study is required. That is why geography. So I should be knowing it that what kind of substances or what is constituted in that field or in that area. Right? And similarly, after that, we have information capturing, right? We need to have the various, various informations that only we can do the analysis. In the previous map, what I have shown, you can see the data which is related to the water supply points, right? Water pumps, water connection, well points, right? From where water is distributed. And to that, I have marked means John Snow have marked that through this line, through this point, how many patients are being affected, have been affected. He located that point. And then he did the analysis that which connection is having more contaminated water. So I have various informations which I have taken and then I have done the analysis. And lastly, we have the system a set of various softwares which help to do the various analysis right so this is what is basic geographical information system the very basic part of it now it is a major question that what answers a gis can provide us student here i am telling gis it is geographical information system anywhere where I use the word GIS, right? Now let us see that what type of answers can this method or can this tool or can this technology can provide us? Yes, you can see the very first thing in the map what I have shown, you can recognize the pattern, the trend right that how is the trend going on right similarly can you map that all things yes now i would like to say here student if i give you a table or an excel sheet and i tell you to do the analysis but if i give you a map see to the presentation background if I give you such type of interactive map, that will be more attractive and more informative and you can analyze each and every part, right? Rather going to the Excel sheet 
looking, analyzing, thinking, and then making your outputs. That is a bit tedious, right? So a map is very helpful in analyzing anything. Means your final output should be in the form of maps, reports, data, so that analysis is more easy and it is more informative. Right? So this is how the first question is, does GIS help us to do the mapping? Yes, GIS itself is a software which is known as geographical information system. And when we talk about the geographical information system, it allows us to do the mapping. Right? Now, where is that? Is helpful to locate the special points where or what analysis we are doing? Yes, it is helpful. Again, it is geographical. So, where is that? If I want to locate anything, I can locate the points, the water pumps I have located, the patients who are affected, the death who has been done with the uh, cholera disease is been located. So, where is that can be easily answered by this technology and technique, right? So again, these two points says the location-based services. Now, the very third question which arrives is, what has changed, right? If there is a change, now this thing I have done in 1855, the scientists have done in 1855, John Snow. Similarly, he has monitored with two to three months he would have observed the changes, right? I have just shown that how this technology has evolved, how GIS is useful, but yes, when you keep this thing monitoring for two, three months, you can see the drastic changes, right? That how it is moving, where it is moving, right? Next question exists of the relationship. That what is the relationship when I am using this type of software okay so when you are using this type of software we should be having some or the other relation when we are doing any research analysis or when we are doing any output process now see I have taken the map and I have located the points of water pumps and the distance this is the relationship that if I know the location of water points, yes, that is very easy to know the location of water pumps. Because cholera is being affected by water only. Contaminated water makes the patient affected with the cholera. So, I have done here that how it will help me and how the relationship exists. So, I have taken here the relationship of water pumps and the number of death is being, is being taken. Right? So, the relationship can be found and can be analyzed. Then, where it is best, what affects what, what if any other parameters is to be considered and many more variety of tools can be incorporated with this technology. Right? So, starting from the mathematical modeling to the analysis to the very simple tool that is clip merge, buffer, zonal statistics, this all can be done with this GIS. And when I am saying you that these tools can be incorporated, I guess you are clear with it that how many things are incorporated into it. That is what is GIS can provide us. And now looking to this question, can you relate this that how this question are related to our civil engineering field? Yes. This all are the questions which are related to our civil engineering field when we are doing any scientific planning for the development of city. Right? The very simple example I have given and you can correlate these examples in our field of civil engineering. Right? Now we have various fields. We have natural resource field, we have water supply field, we have environmental field, we have construction project management field, we have soil field. These are the various fields and now 
think by yourself that what these questions have been written here is helpful to do the analysis in all such fields what i have said there are variety of field in civil engineering so is this technology helpful or not i say you and i must clear that yes each and every field of civil engineering can be done with this gis because the technique is related to the geographical information system and student when i talk to the world with geography and information system this all things are possible right now i guess you are clear with the basic idea of what is gis how it is helpful remember the thing that when we have the accurate location when we are able to do the survey physical survey is possible then this gis tool can help you without going to that point and do the survey can help you to do the lot many analysis which you haven't even thought of so it is a scientific planning and managing tool in all the branches of civil engineering starting from the basic ending to the very innovative part in civil engineering field that is artificial intelligence and machine learning today's trend is moving towards that the web based analysis the automation in each and everything everything is related to the location and mark my word this location based service is done by geographical information system i guess now you are clear with the basic idea of what gis can give us why it is important in the field of civil engineering thank you